I knew very little about strawberries. Uh, you picked maybe once or twice as a, as a child, and that, that was about my only strawberry experience. And since then, this former Ottawa senior researcher in the sustainable housing at Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation has ditched his dress shoes for a life of gumboots and dug out a steep learning curve with his family as Pemberton's newest strawberry farmers. Everything about it is completely different in terms of the work to be done with government. You know, there's a lot of, of delays, whereas here, if you have too many delays, you're not planting or, or you're or your weeds are just too crazy, or you really have to get something, some things done. There's always more to be done than, than there, there are hours in the day. Remy Sharon and his wife Carrie left city life to raise their two children, five-year-old Maxine and seven-year-old Cedric, on Carrie's parents' farm in Pemberton, home to the Sharon family's newly opened Camel's Back Harvest and Strawberry u pick which is now open to the public for picking seven days a week, starting at 8 a.m. for the month of July. Benton strawberries are the key variety showcased. We took over the, the strawberry plants and the equipment from the McEwen's farm. They've been growing strawberries for 20 years in the valley. They've always liked the Benton's because they produce nice, big, juicy berries that uh, the locals have learned to, to love. So we're following in their tradition. Strawberries, such small, sweet, unassuming things that we pluck and pop into our mouths without a second thought. But there are a lot of cogs and wheels behind these ruby red beauties. No sprays or pesticides are used, so bugs are hand plucked. A newly dug well awaits a new irrigation system after picking season. And then there are the four-legged berry fans. Berry as in B-E-A-R-Y. There's lots of bear habitat around, so last year, um, I would say there was five or six regular customers at the uh, strawberry patch. Um, they actually walked down the aisle with the, on their four paws and they just eat row after row of strawberries. We put in an eight foot fence, like a game fence for the deer and the bear. We also have four strands of electric wire on the outside of, the, of that main eight foot fence to really keep them out. The fencing encompasses what will become three acres of strawberry fields, the remaining attributed to vegetables sold at the Pemberton Farmers Market on Wednesday nights. We're going to be planting an acre and a half a year and taking out an acre and a half a year because this, the strawberry plants, you only pick them for about two years and then you plow them under and then you plant other crops and let it fallow for a couple of years um, just so that the disease and, and the, the, doesn't build up and the nutrients don't get too depleted. Crop rotation, it's just one more effort that turns the never-ending circle of work here on the farm. A sacrifice not without rewards. We just wanted to, to have the kids um, having this learning experience of being raised on the farm. Even though they're not farming, they're just always in the element. They're always going around with us and with their grandparents and learning about farming. A pastime that grows food alongside tradition and family all things the community is invited to taste. And the hardest work a visitor faces is mustering enough self-control not to eat their entire pail before the picking is done. From Pemberton, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.